what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel so today's kind of going to be a little different video i'm actually going to be teaching you um about rocket stoves so basically today i'm going to be telling you everything that you guys need to know about rocket stoves well before i start teaching you and explain what a rocket stove really is well a rocket stove is a super efficient wood burning stove that allows you to cook or heat up a place by using only a handful of sticks. This could be light, portable, and easy to make, but the benefits of it is that you don't need to carry any fuel with you. So if you are traveling light or in a prepper situation, these are perfect for you. All rocket stoves are basically L-shaped wood-burning stoves that look like this. You drop a whole bunch of sticks down in the vertical section you catch them on fire and the heat goes up to the vertical section and fresh air oxygen is drawn into the horizontal section. Now what makes this so effective and efficient is that it concentrates the heat to go up where the pot is. By using a rocket stove and concentrating all that heat, you will get a much more efficient burn and you will use that burn much more effectively. So this allows just to cook with just a handful of sticks. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel so as you guys saw from the beginning I'm just gonna be reteaching you well not reteaching you but teaching you another way of making a rocket stove Ta -da! so this is actually called a brick so you could you, this is mainly mainly it's like um it's permanent so um, I'm not gonna teach you how to build well no I'm not gonna show you how I built it because this it's been here for like tennis. two, three years. We use it because since um, our family's Jewish and Russian, um, we make we make um, dishes on it. So like pluff, some soup sometimes. Yeah, we like using this because it's the raw method. So yeah, so we've always been using this. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be teaching you how I built it, like I said. I'm going to show you how you can, and I'm going to show you some ways that you could. So this is permanent. You can't, it is, you could, like, remove it, but this could also be free, too. So, like, this could be free. So, like, if you found all the bricks in the garbage, this could be useful. Um. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So let's get straight into it. So I'm sorry that it's going to be really wobbly because I'm holding my tripod not my gimbals so yeah so this is the actual stove part itself right here this is um the actual stove and it's actually occurred to your preference so so basically it could be as high as you want so if you're gonna make it high it's good for soup if you're gonna make it low it's good for like cooking dishes like cassada like i taught you in one video if you guys watch that and you want to learn how to make a good good beans and rice, go ahead and watch that. It's also quick and it's good for camping too. So yeah, go ahead and watch that if you guys like to do that. So as you guys can see, there's actually some sort of mesh down there. It's because when we put in the sticks, which are over there, it'll be easier because then the rocket stove could get more air into it to the actual wood itself. So like I taught you guys in the beginning part, it concentrates all the heat. This is obviously where, oh my God, so many mosquitoes. But this is obviously where you actually put in the, you know, the pan or the pot, whatever you're using. So yeah, this isn't really necessary. Um, you can make a base down here on the bottom. It's not necessary. But you could add like a set. Oh, what the? I touched a slug. Oh, God. Say what's up to the YouTube. Say what's up. Okay, whatever. I'll let him be home. Um, also, if you're going to do this outside and being permanent, just um, be careful because there's going to be a lot of spiders and bugs in here. So, yeah. But we made a base here just for us to make it better. There was also a chair here, like a permanent chair, but we removed it for parts for this, the behind part for the wood. But yeah, so this is where you would put in like the, excuse me, I'm, I have gas right now. Uh, oh. oh 
Oh! Oh my god! There's turkeys! Oh my god, look! Turkeys! Well, anyways, so, um, yeah, so this is, if you would power wash this with, um, a power washer, you could actually just use this as the cutting board itself, but yeah, um, you also have to be really fragile with this, so don't actually put in the pot, the hot pot in here, because then it'll probably crack, um, yeah, it's, we, this is, this entire part we made actually, like, later, because we found more bricks, um, we just, for, for this, we just added, like, you know, the cinder blocks, two big pavement pieces, um, bricks for, like, you know, houses, but you do not have to add, like, the, um, oh my god, stupid mosquitoes, sorry, guys, um, don't, don't, please don't add, um, like, cement, because if you do use the cement, it will lock it in, and when you would actually put in the fire, it would melt it off and cause a bigger smoky fire, which isn't good for food. So yeah, um, to make it have that smoky taste, I actually use this. I use pine trees. Um, we just cut down some before. There's some pine wood. There's a lot of pine here. This entire thing is basically just pine. It's good for fire because, oh my God, that blows up so easily. <sighs> I'm probably going to get demonetized from saying that, but okay. Um, anyways, just add in some bricks. Honestly, it's to you what you're going to use to cook. So this could be used for um, soup this way of making. You have to be really professional at this. So if you do know what you're doing, go ahead and you could do it all you want. So yeah, just there's the warning. So if you guys do ever mess up, I said that. So yeah, that's basically what it looks like all around. There's a big cockroach nest behind there, so I'm not going back there. But yeah, um, before you actually do start cooking, test run it with um, sticks. Because the first time we did it, well, the first couple of times, this thing was just so weak. Make sure it's not like this on the bottom. We just did that because we didn't have the proper amount of bricks and it's working for us. So if you guys do this, please don't do what we did on the bottom. But it is a good method of how we did it. So we're structuring it properly. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, basically, yeah. That's what I'm going to teach you about episode two of Rocket Stoves. Moving on to episode three, if you guys are watching the full playlist, if you want to watch the entire playlist, go ahead and watch that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya.